I think it is here in section three of Landsberg's essay that we really start to get a sense of his views about death, what death is, what its significance is in human experience. And we see that, um, that the main issue here in section three is individualization, uh, this process of becoming a person, a self, a unique individual, which Landsberg does not think happens automatically in human life, but is both an historical process where the human species advances to the point where we can have a true individual. And perhaps there's something that is sort of repeated in the fate of any particular human being where uh, we as individuals cross that threshold where we become individuals, uh, become persons, selves, unique, individualized persons. And what is his main point here in, in, in section three? That, that, that it is such a process of individualization that's necessary for true awareness of death. Uh, and that before that threshold is passed of becoming a true individual, one's notion of death is, is it, it's not a profound, a deep, intense awareness of something. Well, what is the awareness of death supposedly in this pre-individualized state? Well, you know, he refers to uh, I believe an anthropologist at the time named Levy Bruhl and, 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 and general results of 20th century anthropology, which we should be skeptical of because it wasn't all right. But he, and he refers to primitive cultures, primitive peoples, which is not exactly the way that we might put it these days. But he seems to be referring to uh, the results of anthropology and thinking or, or studying the, the thought processes, the values, uh, institutions of simpler forms of human life. And, and what he proposes is that at one point we lived in what our social consciousness, or our, our, our consciousness was entirely social. That is that at an earlier point in human civilization or human culture, that uh, we had this sort of clan mentality, which meant that we're absorbed in the community and, and we had very little sense of ourselves as individuals or our sense was of the, the social whole and perhaps only uh, had a sense of ourselves insofar as we fit into that social whole, what function, role we played in that one. And, and if that makes sense, then one can see that from that point of view, death is not really such a big deal. Um, he says on page 196, in primitive societies, the individual is not sufficiently differentiated from his clan to be able to individualize himself in any other way than by his position in the clan and his function in the social organism. If on his death another individual succeeds to this position, the latter also acquires the name and soul of the dead man. The clan has regenerated its lost member and it is as if nothing had happened. So death is no big deal. That is, death takes away individuals, right? Whatever death is, we, we know that individuals disappear. But that event is of no greater significance if what really matters is the role that the individual plays rather than the individual him or herself. And if it, that role is then filled by another, then everything's cool um, and death is no big deal. So uh, for Landsberg then, it, it's only when one becomes aware of oneself as a unique self and a true individual that death really becomes something important. So he says uh, at the bottom of page 196, an awareness of death goes hand in hand with human individualization, the constitution of the person, and goes on to say that the this awareness of ourselves as individuals is really not just a new content of our knowledge, but rather something that makes us different. We, we are different. Our being is different once we become aware of ourselves in, in this way. So there's a real change in our being. But I think most importantly, um, this changes the view of death entirely. Death is now a big deal. Why? Uh, he says on the top page 197, thus it is not primarily the awareness of an individual death which grows more intense, but rather the sense of the menace of such death. Because now death is menace, danger. The individual endows it with a content proper to him alone. That is, it's not, well, how will death affect the social group? The primary question now is how 
will death affect me? It is only from this moment that he, the individual, conceives a factor capable of being threatened by real annihilation. That is to say, he conceives the possibility of individual death. I think that that's quite important uh, in Landsberg's thought here. That is, what are we really conscious of when we're conscious of death? Uh, well, we're, we're conscious of death as threat, as menace, as a, some, something that is a danger to something. And um, what is the real content of that? Well, it's a danger, it's not that death is somehow abstractly, we can say that death is a bad thing. Death is a bad thing only if it threatens something of, of, of value. And for the first time in consciousness, I guess, now that we realize that we are irreplaceable as self, that, we, that our, our main value as beings is not primarily, not primarily the, the, the role that we play within this so-called social organism. We're not just another part. I am me. I am aware of myself as a unique, valuable individual. And now death becomes a real threat. Because, of course, I can be replaced. So you get another teacher, you'll get another uh, postal worker, you'll get another truck driver, you'll, you'll get another politician or another engineer or doctor. Um, but you won't get another me, and we could all say that. So now death, because it seems to wipe out that personality, I think Landsberg would say, now we see it clearly. And before, we saw it like children in a way. And, and with uh, equanimity and calm. But now we see it as adults. We see death is problem, not problematic, it's terrifying. And it's true, terror only comes becomes clear when, when, when it's true threat becomes clear. It's, it, it's not just a threat to my body. It's not pain, it's not suffering. Uh, it is the threat of annihilation. It's the threat of something becoming nothing threat, it's an existential threat, you might say. It's a threat to my very existence as a person. It threatens to annihilate me, to, to, to wipe me out. So this notion of uh, individuality, of personhood, uh, of uh, the awareness of the human being as not just being a member of the clan or the group of the social organism, but being a unique, irreplaceable individual, it's at this point that Thing really starts to open up, I think, in terms of Landsberg's own thoughts about the significance of death, and that this leads into a very important section, section four, the, the death of friends.